Are you wondering how to get the best deal when you're selling your house in Madison, Wisconsin? Then this video is for you. Hey guys, I'm Shane Feist, Beyond the Door Realty. I love talking to new people, guys, so my information's on the screen right now. Make sure you reach out to me. Give me a call, shoot me a text, or just send me over an email. I'd love to talk to you and help you out any way I can. And make sure you subscribe to our channel right here so that you can get any updates of new videos we do, and you can also check out all the other videos we've already done. So how do you get the best offer on your house when you're selling it? One thing is pricing it. You wanna make sure you price your house right, right away. Because typically we find that our best buyers come through in the first two weeks. So that means if you start off at a price that's way too high, they're not even gonna look at the property. And it's not really gonna hit their list again because they're just gonna think that if you keep dropping the price that there's something wrong with it then. You have to understand that pricing this right is one of the most important things you can do when selling your home. If you decide that you're gonna go high so that you can negotiate later, that usually does not work for most people. One of the things I like to do with my pricing is to make sure that I price it at a point where I know I'm gonna get offers right away, and hopefully I get multiple offers because one of the best ways to get the most money for your home is to have buyers competing for your house. And if you're priced too high, this is just never gonna happen. You're gonna get maybe one offer who's probably gonna lowball you, and then the inspection comes through and now they want a bunch more money off and then you're more mad and it just isn't a good experience for anybody. So pricing your house right to begin with can eliminate a lot of the headaches because when a buyer comes in and they know there's a lot of competition, they know that you're not gonna budge a lot uh, when the inspection comes through and there's some things that pop up. There's always things that pop up in inspection. It's what their job is to do is find out what's wrong with your house. So pricing it right is gonna bring you multiple offers and it's gonna just create that sense of urgency for that buyer. So they're not gonna think that, well, no one else looking at this thing, so I can probably get them to come down another 10, 20, $30,000. Another thing you can do to get the best offer on your house is to make sure it shows really well. And what I mean here is, I did another series on this in our Facebook group, talking all about this. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure that all those little minor repairs that you've been putting off are done, calm down the bright colors, depersonalize, declutter, I had a 10 video series on all of this. If you want me to send it to you, just reach out to me, I'll make sure you get that. But make sure the house is ready to sell so that buyers don't come in looking at it thinking they got a lot of work to do to this house and then they are gonna lowball you or you know come back on inspection and really nitpick you on every little thing. Another thing that's gonna help you to get in the best offer is photos. It may seem like just a simple little thing, but I can't tell you what a difference it makes for buyers when they're looking through a group of listings that I send them and let's say three of them have 25 photos each and then I come to one and it's got six and it's several outside shots that aren't very good. Maybe someone's thumbs in the way and then blurry pictures, dark pictures, stuff that doesn't make the house show very well. So photos are a big deal to get your buyers through in the first place. Another thing is exposure making sure that your property is out there so people can find it. I can't tell you how many times I'll call somebody and they'll tell me that, oh yeah, my house is for sale by owner. And I'm like, well, where? Cause I, I didn't see it. I, I Googled it, I couldn't find it. And they're like, oh, well you gotta go to XYZ site slash such and such. Well, that doesn't do anybody any good. No one's gonna look for it that way. One of the reasons why people work with me is because not only am I on the MLS, I'm gonna do all the other online marketing for you as well so we can get you the most exposure to find the most buyers for you. So if you'd like to see how I'm getting people the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time possible right now, even in this crazy market, reach out to me guys. My information's on the screen right now. Feel free to call, text, or email. I'd love to talk to you and help you out any way I can. Thanks guys, talk to you soon.